Good morning, everyone. Um, I hope everybody is starting their morning great. I know I am because I'm about to make some mango, huevo, queso, y salami. Yes, indeed. Um, this is a Dominican dish. Um, and I love it. I don't know whoever invented this dish. Whew. Can I just meet you if I could give you a handshake? <laughs> because... This is the bomb, okay? If you've never had it, you should. Um, I got a whole bunch of friends of all kind of nationality. Dominican is one. And that's how it was introduced to me. And I usually order it, you know, in a restaurant. Um, I think I made this one time, but I was like maybe 21, 22. I didn't know what the hell I was doing. But anyway, um, but I usually order it at, like at least once a month. I eat this in a restaurant and it is so good. I said, you know what? I'm gonna make my own. So we got here, platanos, which is plantains. That's what you need. Um, so I'm only gonna make enough for me. So, and these platanos don't look really big to me. If they would have been bigger, like maybe one big one, I probably just would have used one. So I'm gonna use two. I got eggs. I got queso de fría. Oh my goodness, wait. Okay, my, my onion almost fell. And this is what you use to make the fried cheese. Okay? I'll show you everything. I'm just showing you what I'm going to use. I got here a red onion. You could use the white onion, but for some reason, the red one, I don't know. It just gives it a nice taste when you you know you put in the mango it's funny because every time i order mango i'd be like ponele extra extra cebolla <laughs> i love when they put extra uh, extra onions oh my god it's so so good and then i have here salt oil butter and i got here salami now they sell like the other ones that cost like 15 dollars i forgot what it's called the real salami from santo domingo but that is pricey my goodness for like it's like for half of like this size it'll probably be like i've seen it for maybe six seven dollars and then if you want the big one it's a little bigger than that it's like maybe fifteen dollars like i'll buy it when i have the extra cash but when i don't i buy the cheap one that costs like 3.99 4.99 5.99 and you know it still tastes good so let's get started on this dish. Yay! And as you can see, I have my recipe written right there. No, you can't see this. It's very small. Um, I have a friend who's half black and half Dominican. But I don't know. I think she's more Dominican to me. <laughs> but anyway, um, and she helped me out with a few tips and stuff. So I wrote it down. I wrote it on my computer. I printed it out. And I got it here above my stove just in case I do something wrong even though come on it's not that hard I mean if I could make any other Spanish food I'm sure I could make this and I got a pot of boiling water right here so let me get my camera stand for I could set everything up and then we'll be back again okay so let's cut this up I'm getting a knife and this is the way I cut it. Everybody cuts it differently, but this is the way I cut it. And I usually do three lines. I hope everybody can see me. And I put it under hot water for at least a minute. You know, it makes, it helps the skin peel off better to me. Some people just peel it off and they end up having a little hard time doing that. So. See, these platanos are a little small. That's why I chose to. If it had been one big platano, or plantain, should I say, since this is in English, I would have I would've just used one. So, let this get, you know, let me wait at least a minute or two, and I'll show you how to peel them. Oh, in the meantime, while um, while the platanos is getting, you know, is running in hot water, add a little salt to your water that's boiling, but do not add a lot of salt, okay? Not a lot. Just a little bit because 
you know, we're going to add butter, we're going to add other, you know. Okay, that's, I think that's good enough. Let's peel our platanos. So, I usually do this with the little tip of the knife. Just to start it off. That's one. I'm gonna make sure you don't have no, none of the, still, okay, this looks fine. And let's do this one. Um, okay. There you go. See, that's why you want to put it in hot water for at least a minute. At least a minute or a minute and a half. Alright, and um, you could cut this in so many ways as long as it's boiling. I was told to cut it like half and then another half. Hmm. Let's see. Oops, don't want to. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was told. But you know what? Regardless, it's going to get mashed. <laughs> so let's just do it this way. But you cut it the way you want to cut it. Because it's going to get mashed anyway in the end. So let's put that aside. Put that aside. And I'm assuming we got to mash these for maybe 30, 40 minutes. Um, at least it's too. It's, you don't want it too hard either. You got to mash these. So, my friend didn't tell me the time, you know, the boiling time that I need to boil these, but I'll figure it out on my own. It's not that hard. So, let's move this here. I got a pot in the back because I'm going to make my pickle onions. And that'll be next. Alright, and let me start putting all the platanos there. I think I put a lot of water though, but that's okay. It'll evaporate by the time I gotta, you know. Alright, so I'm gonna let this boil. Um, I'll check up on it on 30 minutes, but during the 30 minutes, let me prepare, like cut the salami and do the onions and the cheese, which I'm gonna show you next. First, I'm going to start off with the onions because the onions, you got to let it marinate in, in vinegar, you know, because that's going to be cooked towards the very end. That is the last thing we're going to make, the onions. Okay, so let's do that first. Let's cut that first. And you can cut it whichever way you want, but this is the way I'm going to do it. I hope you can see it because I got to look at the camera and just look at how I'm doing it. I want to make sure I get it all right. And I know that probably, um, y'all probably thinking, why didn't she do that before she cooked? The video is going to be long. I understand. But how about if somebody don't know about this dish, you know? Somebody from another nationality. It's, it's just good to show everything step by step. So I cut the, you know, the skin of the onions. And I like a lot of onions. So I'm going to make a lot. Um, okay, one more. You know, I'm just going to do the whole thing. And whatever I don't use, I'll put it away. For maybe tomorrow when I gotta cook. Because sometimes I do that. I always, you know, make more than what I'm supposed to. Alright, and I got a bowl here. I'm just breaking them up apart a little bit. 
All right. And we're going to add vinegar to that. Probably a little bit more since there's a lot of onions. And some salt. That's it. want to marinate this really good. I want to make sure it it gets everywhere under all the onions and my friend called this pickled onions. So that's that and it looks really good to me. So I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator, then we're gonna cut the cheese and the salami next. Time to cut the cheese. Um, the platanos is still boiling. I'm just doing all the prepping now because something about mango that I noticed that that is a kind of dish that you like, you gotta eat it right away as soon as it's done because if not, like, if you let it sit too long, it starts getting hard and stuff so I want to make sure that when I'm finished making the mango I fry everything real quickly because this is rather quick and I could just enjoy my meal so rather me do it now than do it when you know do all of this when it's already sitting on the stove in my opinion so we have here queso de frial I hope I'm saying it right um, and this is a cheese that you fry. So, I'm gonna have three. Three nice chunky ones. So, you can find this in your supermarket. This is how fat I'm making mine. If you wanna make it skinnier, then fine. But I'm not gonna lie, when I go to the restaurant, I hate when they give it to me skinny or trying to be cheap with their cheese and stuff. Put the rest away. So this is like, I want you to look at the package for those that don't know about this dish. Get this one. I think to me this is the best one. If not, then someone else correct me. Don't bash me on YouTube. Just correct me and be like, I think this is better. And I'll be like, alright. So. Put this aside. Put this in a bowl. When I'm ready to fry it, it'll be good to fry. Now I'm gonna do the salami. With the same knife because like, what the hell. And I always do the tip. Okay, I was gonna be like, what the hell. And... Okay. I'll throw that away. And, oh, hold on. Somebody's calling me out the window. Okay, so I'm back. It was my neighbor. Um, so, yeah, let's cut some of these salamis. Um, I usually, I don't want to cut too much. Hold on. And I cut like a little slit right there. For that way, when you cook it, you can see that little. All right. Okay, I think four will be good. And when you fry it, this little part tends to open up. It just looks cute. And I put it in my bowl. So I'm going to put all of the stuff away. Wait for these platanos to get done. Um, I think maybe I should not have added a lot of water because it's probably going to take a longer time. Um, I probably just, I don't know if I should take water out. Um... Or just be patient and wait at least 30, 40 minutes. Probably just be patient, right? <laughs> okay, so we'll be back when this is ready to be mashed and I fry everything up. And this is quick. Something so delicious, very simple. So we'll be back. Okay, so I've let it cook for at least mm, 
35 minutes, 35, 40 minutes. I know that's probably a long time, but I really want it soft. And I got caught on watching something on TV. Okay, so we're gonna turn this off. And where's the other baño? And I have a, uh, oh, I'm gonna do this, okay. I have this, all right. Sorry, I stopped the camera instead of letting it get closer. Okay. So, wait a minute. All right, so I'm going to throw this in there, but I'm going to reserve some of the water, okay? And I'm going to just, I guess, spoon out the other. No, no, no. What am I going to spoon it out for? I don't even know why I need this for. I'm not going to throw everything in there. Oh, is okay, just a little bit more water, maybe. Throw out. Okay. So, push that aside. I guess I don't need that. I don't even know why I took it out. Oh, my mind is somewhere else. Alright, so we got the platanos. Okay. And I have a couple of tools to see if this can mash up. I got this for mashed potatoes. I got this for mashed potatoes, and if that doesn't help, then I got this. And I've seen Dominicans do it with this. But let's see how this goes. Let me just reserve some water just in case I don't need all this water. I don't want to make it too mushy either. Okay, so I reserved some of the water, but I just have a little bit of water in here. So. Let's start my mashing. You know what I'm gonna do to the counter? The counter, because you know doing it in the stove is really hard. So, so I'm mashing. Oh wait, this looks like this is working pretty well. So. I'm looking for a nice creamy texture. Sorry it's banging, but you gotta match this and it's coming along great. I guess it was good that I left it there a little long. Even if it's like this, you're gonna add some butter to this. Okay. I'm um, gonna add butter to this while it's nice and hot. And I'm gonna add some cold water. Why cold water, you're probably saying. Um, from what I've heard, that it's good to add cold water because it keeps a nice creamy consistency, I guess. So, not hot water. We just already reserved some of the hot water there. Okay. Wait a minute, this is hot. Let me get the paño. I'm gonna mash it, then I'm gonna probably just finish it up with the fork. I'm gonna taste it to see if I need to add maybe salt because I didn't add a lot of salt. Ooh, it's coming along great! Yay! <laughs> I love my game. I'm gonna add a little water, cold water. Please make sure it's cold water from what I heard. So. I got the hot water on. All right. Cold water. Sorry, guys. Hold on. I always say I'm not going to make a long tutorial, and then I end up making a long tutorial. Okay, I left some in my cup. And it has to be cold. I don't know. I can't understand that part. Why I got to be cold? But, you know, I'm not Dominican, I'm Puerto Rican, and, you know, the Dominicans know why, you know, why they have to put cold water. But it sure tastes good. Oh my God, I'm making a lot of noise and it's early. Oh, well. Oh my God, I'm getting the consistency that I really want. Hold on. Let me get a little bit from the from the 
Mm. It tastes so good. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna add a little salt though. Not too much because I feel like it already got a lot of flavor. And we don't have to mash it more. They do, I think, have a machine in the cochistrito, from what I heard. That it mashes it up even more better. So this is pretty good for someone that did it from scratch. Okay. I probably want to add a little bit more water because I like a little bit, like a little... I like it a little creamy when I eat it in the cuchifritos. Okay, now it's coming along great. And you know, just do it the way you want to do it. Like, I guess you want to put butter. Okay, I think I'm going to leave it just like this. I'm going to keep it nice and warm in the back and I'm going to start frying everything else and pick on the spoon. <laughs> we'll be back. So I have my mango in the back on very, very low heat. I added just a, a, a pinch of butter for in case it does try to like, let's say get a little hard. It'll be nice and creamy by the time I finish serving it. But I guess that's what the cold water is for. The cold water is to make sure it doesn't get hard too quick from what my friend told me so I'm just letting you know so just a closer look on how it looks I think it looks good to me and it tastes really good so let's go over here because I got I put here just a little um a teaspoon of of oil I have here corn oil and then I got here um to make the salami and the queso blanco. First, I want to make the queso blanco, so let's just adjust this real quick um, towards the back. And put it more closer so you can see it. All right, and I'm gonna, I just preheated everything, so. I'm gonna throw a little water in there. It's not ready yet. So when it's ready and it starts getting hot, I'll let you guys know. I'm ready to fry the salami, queso, the onions, which I will put it next to like, like so, this one. I got the eggs here. And I got coffee over there because I'm sipping on some of that coffee because waiting here forever for this. All right. Let me start doing my, my, my cheese. And be very careful with the oil, you guys. I'm going to fry that up. I got my napkin here. I don't know if you can see it. I always put a napkin in the center. Now, people, some people like their cheese differently. I like mine. Not so um, brown. Some people like it. Like really cooked, I guess. I don't know. Or really brown. I like mine. Like a nice golden color. So. Let it do its thing. And we'll be back again. So I switched my pan. I'm sorry. But I need to make my eggs here. I ended up doing the fried cheese there as well. Um, I do that sometimes. So this is what you want when you fry them. This is the color. Or if you want to make it a little darker than that, that's fine. I've seen people eat them darker than that. But that's how I like mine. So my fried cheese is done. I also got my salami here. I know I switched pots with everything. I was supposed to do the eggs here and then use the big one to make the salami. I just like my flat, like my, that, that thing that I have there that I just showed you because I love the way my eggs come out there. So I was just like, you know what? One, two, three. Let me do this, and oh yes, this is the color that I want. Right, this is the color, yes. So, I'm debating, should I do the eggs now, or should I do the onions? 
Um, I'll probably do the onions real quick and then the eggs last because I like the yolk to be nice and, and you know, I'll show you everything. So yeah, like I said, the mango is done. The queso is done. Salami is almost done. Let me see. Yeah, maybe like a minute or so. I'll take it out. We'll be back. So let's make the eggs. I'm gonna do two eggs. Oh God, I hope my eggs are not frozen. Oh, lately my eggs are freezing. Hold on. It is. Try one more egg. All right. Whew. All right. So I'm gonna let my eggs cook. I'm oh, gonna put it low. I don't want these to cook so quickly. Take its time. Sometimes it's good to just let it do its thing. Don't overcook it. And let's go back to the salami. And here we go. And this is what, well, this is what I want. I always been, if this is what you want, I'm just letting you know what I want. You could do it a little darker if you want. I know people that eat it more darker than this. Just however you like it. Let me put my cheese to the side. And that looks rather beautiful. And every time I eat it in the Dominican, um, the Dominican place, it always looks like this, like that little slit right here. Wait a minute. This one looks the prettiest one. It's nice and fat. And it always looks like that. I think it's so cute. All right, so making my eggs. Wait, ugh, the camera. Making my eggs. And I'm going to make the onions next. And we're almost done. Time to make the onions. Um, I have this on on high, very high, because I'm only going to cook this for like at least 30, 40 seconds. That's it. And I know I made all these onions, but like I said, I'm not going to use all of it. So, I'm just going to use what I'm going to use. Put some of the vinegar in there as well. Cook it for a few seconds. Right. Mm -mm. at least for like 30 minutes to a minute depending on how you like it. Sorry, this is bothering me. <laughs> okay, this is good. I want that little nice wholeness to it. Alright, so you know what? I guess it's about that time to put everything together. Now, I'm going to put the eggs like this. Maybe could, could just a little, little, little bit more. But I'm not going to flip it. I'm just going to leave it like with the two yolks showing to take a picture and then I'll, you know, whatever. Let's see. And we're going to start assembling everything together. So it's about that time to assemble everything. Yay! Okay, so I got my coffee there ready. Let me get a spoon. Yep. Now I'm debating. Should I put the whole mango there or should I not? I don't know. Alright, let's see. I probably put the 
I mean, it ain't that much well, to me. <laughs> but, um, No, I don't think it's that much to me. I'm eating more than this. Okay. We got the mango there. Um, let me add the cheese. Trying to make a nice presentation here. I am going to take a picture of this. Wait a minute. This one looks a little funny. So, always put the pretty one first. There, and then we're gonna put our salamis. Here, and this one is the nicest, prettiest, plumpiest one. Are you watching, you guys? That's right. I'm gonna eat my food today, and. I'm gonna put the eggs. No, I didn't cook the eggs all the way. And for some reason it kind of broke. <laughs> but it's okay. See? There you go. And I'll put a little salt and pepper to that. Even though I'm gonna probably cook it more than this, I'm just trying to show you the presentation. A little sprinkle here and there and then I got hold on the nice pickled onions and I like a lot so maybe some on top of there mm. I just tasted it and they filled it up uh oh here you have it, my mango, huevo, queso, y salami, all right, probably don't got that much of the skills that probably the Dominicans have, I know, probably gonna hear it, oh, that's not the way you make mango, but at least it tastes good to me, that's all that matters, and I do like mango, huevo, queso, y salami, so... Let me see if I can show y'all more in the light. So here's a better look. By the window. So the window is the only place that... Okay, move that aside. So there you have it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope you make this because this is a delicious, delicious dish for breakfast. I'm telling you. So I hope you have a good rest of the day. <laughs> and... Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.